it's time for a review on Tesla. This is the four hour chart. I mentioned in my previous Tesla videos that anything below $200 was a good buy for Tesla. We hit a support at around $140. We went up to 160, traded sideways. We went to 180 and now we just pumped near $200. So that rebate of shares of Tesla below 200, it's pretty much gone. We are now at a very critical resistance level. So we'll have a look at the daily and the weekly in a few seconds. But this is the main chart. The only thing that you see is a nice bounce from $140 to $200. Could we have a change in sentiments from investors towards Tesla? It could be happening. The last conference call was quite interesting and could have changed minds of investors about Tesla. Watch out. So on the daily chart, like I indicated, we're back near $200 from a bounce of 140. We see this when we broke down here in January of 2024. We tried to save this level, couldn't, broke down again, and then we touched back to 140 and quite quickly went back to 200. Tesla is like that. It can move quite quickly. So for those who were able to accumulate below 200, congrats because it could be an amazing entry price for Tesla. Now we have the resistance at $200 and we're getting the support of the MA50 on the daily here who's gonna start turning, but we still have the resistance of the MA200 that is at $220 or around that price. Also to note, an increase in volume very very bullish so this is very good we could trade sideways here and break above in the next few days i would not be surprised by that we could break right away also because this movement does not have a lot of price action in this region it only has these days here and these days since july of 2020 so we could break this level in the next few days but if we break it, then it changes completely this structure. It means that we have conquered this correction and now $200 will become support for Tesla. Quite important. Again, not financial advice. Anything around 200 or below is still a very good price for Tesla. Right now, not a lot of people like Tesla. And usually that's the time when you should be buying an asset with that amount of potential because the company has tons of potential, tons of revenue streamlines. Not many people understand them. Most of them will be activated in the future. Therefore, it is extremely difficult to put price. And also there's still the unknown about the execution and when those things will become reality for Tesla. That's the whole thing. You need to have confidence in the asset and confidence on the team in Tesla that they will execute. But that pretty much applies to any company. So this is the weekly chart. We still see a quite strong downtrend in general here. We have this triangular shape that we are getting into if we get above $200. So it's going to be very, very critical to break 200 and then break this trend line upwards. If we do that, then there's going to be quite a lot of momentum going forward for Tesla. But as indicated, we hit $100 in January of 2023. In the following correction, we hit 160. On the following one, 140. And now we bounce back. So. I would assume that we're not going back to 140 yet and we will stay around 200 and go up. That would be my assumption because there seems to be changes in the perception of investors with this move today. As you also see here on the weekly chart, the increase in volume. We have not seen this in a while. We saw it here when we bounced back from 100. Are we going just back to the resistance level and coming back, let's see. But the window, like I indicated, between 140 and 200 
is a good window to accumulate shares right now prior to the explosion in price that could happen in the next few months for Tesla. That's my review. It is usually true that when people do not like a company or hate a company, it's usually the best time to accumulate shares if you have conviction that that company has potential and has realistic possibilities of executing its programs, its different revenue lines. And keep in mind, Tesla is making money, so it's a profitable company and it will potentially become even more profitable. So that's also a very positive thing for Tesla. I hope you enjoyed the video.